Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Battle Chronicle video. And today, we're back with some more first anniversary information, and this time around, it is something that's pretty massive for not just the first anniversary, but for future updates to come as well, as the first anniversary is bringing along with it the first ever balance updates to older units. In this situation and for the first anniversary, at least at the beginning of the first anniversary, we are seeing balance updates to Wind Ryu and Wind Hermes. Now, we'll obviously talk about them in more detail in just a moment. But in this video, along with that, we will also be talking about if their buffs are good or do they need to do more. And along with that, what other units need buffs the most? We need to definitely talk about that. We need to talk about what other adventures and assists needed the most. And I want to see what you guys have to say down below in the comment section as well. Do you guys think that these buffs are good enough? Do you guys think that they could do more? and which unit would you guys like to see receive a buff the most let me know in the comment section down below now of course along with that if you guys go on to enjoy this video remember to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more Danmachi content now when it comes to these two units and in terms of whether they deserve the buffs or not I think Ryu definitely deserved it. Absolutely. Ryu was definitely one of the top 10 units that needed a buff the most. I would say maybe top 5. You all can let me know. But I think top 10 for sure. At least on the adventurer side. I have to say this is what I'm talking about on the adventurer side. On the assist side with Wind Hermes. I would say definitely in terms of all the assists. Probably one that needed it the least. I would say. Maybe not least but somewhere in the middle I would say. But when it comes to the wind assist, and the reason why I say that is because I think that they're going to be doing balance updates based on the element that is being represented and being pushed at the time. So in this situation for the anniversary, we're getting a wind bell and wind eyes as the anniversary units, right? So it makes sense that wind Ryu and wind Hermes are receiving buffs, right? And uh, that means that in terms of all the wind units, I'd say yes, Hermes needed it the most. Seer is probably still a little bit better than Hermes and still is okay enough. Lafia, more than fine. Freya, more than fine. Ryu, more than fine. You look at the new eyes, the wedding event eyes, more than fine. And so for me personally, if you're looking at all, all the wind URs in terms of assists, Hermes needed it the most. Absolutely, no doubt about it. There's no two, two ways about it. Obviously, now we should talk about the buffs themselves, right? The buffs is something you guys want to know about it's something that we need to talk about whether it's good enough or not and as you can see here Ryu received the more extensive set of buffs Hermes only received one buff so let's take a look at Hermes first because it's the easier one to get out of the way the only thing that changes is with the assist skill and it basically gives you a little bit more cooldown on your special move so basically Hermes can help you gain your special move a little bit faster basically so in that sense it's pretty good I would say I think it's one of the first assists that actually adds any form of cooldown on their assist skill if I'm not mistaken I don't remember any other unit in you know reducing the cooldown of your techniques or your special moves so Hermes being the first one is pretty interesting. We'll have to take a look at how good it is actually in game. We'll need to see the multiplier or the number they've attached to it. If it's something like only 10% cooldown, it's not an extravagant amount, right? But if it's like 50% or 75% or even 100%, that's a world of a difference, right? That's a world of a difference. So we'll have to wait and see on that front. That could be pretty massive. Honestly, that could be very, very massive. On the other side, Ryu receives a bunch of buffs. Bunch, a bunch, a bunch of buffs. So first and foremost, her normal attack has her attack speed go up. So on her basic attacks, you'll see it attacking a lot faster. Her skill 1 gets a boost to the damage, a boost to the attack range as well. So the range of the attack goes up. And along with that, it also reduces the special move cooldown. So that means you can get your special move up faster with Ryu. Again, very good. That's a very, very good change. Again, we'll have to see the numbers, but still, nonetheless, a very good change, right? Skill number two, uh, it cancels a little bit faster. So that means basically you get out of the animation a little bit quicker, basically. And then along with that, the duration of the effect goes up. Again, 
that's not so bad at all, right? That's not so bad. You know what I'm going to also do while I'm here? Let me pull up the game as well so that you guys can actually see the changes as well and know exactly what the changes are. I have both units as well so we can see what the differences are. The special move for Ryu sees the attack range go up. The uh, increase there, there will be a reduction in the skill cost as well or the skill cooldown, I should say more so. And then finally, you will also see an increase in the duration of the movement speed. So overall, again, these are some really good adjustments, I would say, for Ryu overall. Uh, just overall buffs to the numbers basically it seems like along with some additional effects basically happening here same thing with hermes of course we'll have to see the numbers in game what i am also really hoping for and they've not made a mention of it here or anything in all honesty which is kind of concerning and i really hope they still work on it is they need to improve the stats as well don't get me wrong it's all well and good obviously improving the skills and stuff like that for these units but we gotta see the stats go up like, push this dexterity to 750, intelligence SCR to 350, 400, or something like that. Just small number boosts will be more than enough, you know? Small number boosts will be more than enough. So yeah, as you can see right here. So, skill 1 will see an additional effect in the special move cooldown reduction, which will be insane. Skill 2, of course, like I said, the duration will be going up for all of these, which will be amazing to see, of course, right? And then the cancellation of the technique will also be super, super helpful. And then the special move will also see some additional effects being added as well, which will be amazing. And then, of course, you get this uh, movement speed increase anyways at A5 as well. That'll go up as well, which will be really, really nice to see. On the other side with Hermes, like I said... Um, a special move cooldown a reduction on these uh, assist skill along with the HP recovery will be handy as fuck. It'll be really, really handy. So we'd love to see this. We'd love to love to see this. Now, when it comes to uh, the buffs themselves, like I said, I think the buffs themselves are good. But we do need to see an increase. We do need to see an increase in the stats. I struggle to speak there. I do apologize. I don't know why it got stuck in my throat there for a split second. But we do need to see a number increase for sure. Uh, my body malfunctioned there. I'm not going to lie. My body definitely malfunctioned there. Now, when it comes to other units that are in the game, right? When it comes to other units that are in the game and units that need a buff the most, right? I mean, we can go through them together. We'll start with the URs primarily because they are the ones that need it the most, right? Bet needs it. Riveria needs it. Mikoto needs it. I'd say Lafia needs it as well, actually. Earth Lafia, she probably needs it a little bit as well. Finn absolutely needs it. Aisha, she also needs it, to be quite honest. These are six units in the adventurer side that I do think need buffs very much so. With Aisha, it's not a case of she needs more numbers boosts, but she needs basically speed boosts, effectively. She needs to be a little bit faster. The way she moves is like slower than that of some tanks as well that we have in the game, which is crazy, to be honest. It is absolutely nuts. Finn, Finn needs everything, to be honest. I love Finn, don't get me wrong. He can be a little bit of fun to use with the knockback and as a meme, but he needs everything, man. He really needs a lot, to be honest, to go for him. Lafia... I think numbers, man. It's just numbers, really, and everything with her, to be honest. And along with that, that second skill needs to be an attacking skill. The times have gone for... I know it's only been a year, but the times have gone for a skill to only have, like, one effect on it. Or if you want to go for one... Of, or if you want to go for a non-attacking move, multiple effects. It has to be multiple effects. That one effect of increasing magic is just not simply good enough in this day and age. Not at all. So stuff like that needs a boost. I would have also said Gareth a little bit, but I think Gareth can still hold his own a little bit in the modes he's good in. But he wouldn't be a miss either, technically, as well. Mikoro, absolutely. Just effects, man. You need a lot more effects here and just numbers, I would say, as well. Because this is ridiculous as to what the numbers look like and what she actually does in-game, man. It's ridiculous. So, definitely, we need to see some boosts to her numbers and just overall effects as well. Reveria, great healer in Uncharted, but that's the extent she's got. She needs a lot more. Num duration, I would say, definitely would help a little bit. A little bit more um, just supportability and recovery and all that sort of stuff. I think would help a, a lot for sure. I generally do think so as well there. And then, yeah, bet as well. Just damage again, once again. It, th this is the thing with speed units. It's all about just adding more effects and speed damage basically to them and they'd be a lot better that's what it is it's a lot of speed units we went over right two speed units one support unit and two attacker units so 
yeah, well, three attacker units. So yeah, definitely just in case of just increasing the numbers and adding more effects with these units. That's all they realistically need to do. So yeah, that is my thoughts on that. Now, in terms of the assists, right? Takemi Kazuchi, absolutely, yes, needs a buff. Wine, yes, needs a buff. Uh, Lishar Loki, definitely need buffs. Theirs is very simple, to be honest. Just remove this whole increased damage received from uh, the enemies. The uh, We should not be taking more damage because we're using our assist skill. Hell no. So, Ishtar Loki, definitely need buffs. Miyak also wouldn't be amiss to getting a buff as well. And maybe Chigusa as well. Just because of the other units that we have in the game, Chigusa getting an effect would be nice. But Chigusa is a lot less minor compared to all these other units. But yeah, these units definitely need it. I mean, like Takemi Kazuchi, like for a defense unit being an attacking unit as well, and then giving what he does, ridiculous. It's absolutely terrible. It's not good enough. Wine is a case of like, she's good, but not good enough to help the team out. I think she definitely needs to be a little bit better, to be honest. Loki and Ishtar, I've mentioned my changes and grievances with them. I hope they do get changes as well. And then finally, with Miyak as well, I think he's fine at its core, but just needs a lot more going for him, man. Just needs a lot more going for him in some way, shape, or form. Maybe a little bit of a boost to the numbers, bit of a boost to the effects. Again, like I said, it's all about the effects. I mean, I love the idea that they're going with with these buffs as well and these balance updates. They're going down the right direction in terms of like, yes, we're adding effects and bonuses and stuff like that. That is the way to go. Obviously, increasing the numbers as well, the stats and everything will be also amazing. But right now, this is the way sh they should be going about it. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's next. I think the next ones, well, depending on, it's all dependent on the element, right? But I'd love to see either the fire units get it, Mikoro, ta Takimi, Kazuchi, maybe. Or you go down electric, Ishtar Finn, something like that. I think it would be amazing to see, absolutely. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below about these buffs. Do you guys think they're good enough, bad? What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm quite curious to see, to, uh, I'm quite curious to see what you guys have to say down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.